from this to this via this. This is my 3D printer, it's a Prusa i3, bought from uh, a couple of kits that I saw from various different places. The hardware kit came from eBay, the electronics and the motors came from Think 3D, Print 3D, uh, and the plastic parts were actually printed out by my boss at work. Uh, I was actually lucky I was able to get those for free, so that saved me about sort of 30 40 pounds. Cost about £350 in total to build, uh, and if you don't happen to have access to a boss with a 3D printer, maybe add on an extra £30-£40. So less than £400 you get a fully functional and pretty good 3D printer. This is the zip from my jacket, as you can see it's broken, the two halves have, uh, have come apart, the, uh, the metal pillar that was uh, connecting the two halves has just weakened over time, and it's just snapped off. But, we've got a 3D printer, we're now at a solid model, so why not make a new zip? Before modelling the zipper, I had to understand how uh, how the zip actually works. There's a nice animation on the zipper page on Wikipedia, which shows simply how it works. So, uh, the teeth, well, the slider forces the teeth to approach each other at an angle, uh, and that allows them to interlock, and then it forces them to run parallel and straight, and that locks the teeth together so they don't come apart. I would need to measure this dimension here, this wide one, the narrow dimension here, the distance between the two, and that determines the angle. And then the slider is actually composed of two identical plates like this, one on top of the other. Uh, and the height between those plates uh, needs to match the height of the actual teeth. Uh, so that when the teeth interlock, uh, they, don't, they don't buckle upwards. There isn't enough space for them to buckle upwards uh, and slide apart. So we'll uh, have a look at the SolidWorks model. So this is the model of the uh, of the zipper. So we'll uh, walk through it step by step. The slider started its life as a sketch. I first drew these two rectangles, this one here and this one here, in order to get the main dimensions of the uh, of the slider in place. And then the splines were drawn uh, after that with the rectangles as a guide. Once that basic sketch was in place, you could extrude that half, that was that, and then you could go around the back and extrude the uh, the guide rails on the side. After that we extrude the uh, the pillar that they have in the middle, it brings the, uh, the teeth together. Then, we fillet the edges, make it look nice and rounded. Mirror the part, so that's the first half. Then defining a plane, mirror it again, and that's pretty much the full zipper. And then it was a matter of modeling the, uh, the actual handle. So here's the zipper slider being printed. I'm actually printing it with uh, brim. I configured the slices have a 5mm brim because the first time I tried to print this, uh, the right hand half of the uh, of the slider actually has quite a small surface area. And so the printer knocked it over when I was printing it the first time around. But with a brim on, uh, it works perfectly fine. It adheres uh, very well to the heated bed. It's printed at a 0.2mm layer height, although to be fair, it probably doesn't need that, uh, yeah, that's, don't need that lower layer height. It'll probably print perfectly fine with uh, a much higher one. The nice thing about this is it only takes about half an hour to print, so it actually takes less time for me to print it than it would for me to drive into town, go to some sewing shop and get a replacement zip, and come back again. Only 36 minutes to print, and here is our completed zip. Or the completed zip slider. So, all we need to do now is give it a bit of a clean up, get rid of the brim, uh, get rid of all these uh, strings, and then we'll give it a go. So here's the cleaned up zip, uh, with the strings gone and the uh, brim removed. Found a little keychain to uh, to use a uh, as a strap. Uh, so now we'll give it a go on the coat. So here's the zip on the coat, on one half.
So that is in. And now, if I can do this with one hand, which is going to be bloody, oh, there we go. That's it. Works lovely.